Good afternoon, guys, and welcome to First Question. Today, not only will I be briefing, uh, but the President of the United States will come to the briefing room to give a short statement on the tax agreement and take uh, some questions from reporters down there. So let's get started, and we'll take our first uh, Twitter question from Leo Thomas McGarry, which, if I'm not mistaken, was uh, Josiah Bartlett's chief of staff in West Wing. So I'm entirely sure that this is a made-up account, but it's a good question. Was the tax deal brokered yesterday intentionally designed as a de facto second stimulus package? Mr. Leo McGarry, the, uh, the, the package was not brokered uh, intentionally to do that. I will say this, the president was animated to ensure that the agreement helped our economy grow and create jobs. I think you've noticed that a couple of the things in the agreement, extending unemployment insurance uh, through 2011, as well as a payroll tax cut which will benefit middle class families, obviously will have a stimulative effect on the economy in 2011 uh, and will help this economy create much needed jobs. C. Mary Louise writes, why did POTUS cave so quickly on the R's demand, RE tax cuts? Is he confident start and don't ask, don't tell repeal will get done before the year? Thanks for the question. Uh, first and foremost, we had votes in the House and the Senate, and it was clear from those votes that what the president wanted, middle class tax cuts made permanent alone, was not going to carry the day. So in Instead of having the tax rates go up for everybody on New Year's Day, the president wanted to ensure that we had some economic continuity uh, and the tax rates didn't go up. On your second question, are we confident that start and don't ask, don't tell repeal can get done? On start, there's tremendous momentum to get this treaty done, uh, and I believe that it will be ratified by the end of the year. Secondly, on don't ask, don't tell repeal, I also think there's momentum, tremendous momentum to get this done with Republicans like Susan Collins uh, and Scott Brown endorsing the repeal uh, and removing the unfair uh, don't ask, don't tell policy uh, that would, uh, once we change it, uh, allow gays and lesbians to serve openly in our armed forces, something the president believes greatly in. Thanks, guys.